Hey folks, this is Iman from AllAboutAndroids.com and today I'll be doing an app review and the app in question is called TV Portal and as the name suggests it does allow you to stream content from the TV such as TV shows and movies straight to your Android device and uh, right now I'm just, uh, I just opened the Play Store it's available for free and it does work on tablets and phones like I mentioned before um, there is a free version which you download on the Play Store and an upgraded version for a dollar which allows you to unlimitedly stream content while the free version has certain limits on the um, uh, amount of videos you can watch per day. Over here we're just going a quick overview of the ratings as you can see it has been released three days ago but a lot of five star ratings which shows how good and promising this app is. So to make this app work you need to have a network streaming app as well. So I would recommend MX Player as the default player. It will allow you to stream content from the web and it does have the best decoding out of all the apps that I've tried. Um, also, please make sure to go to MX Player settings under decoder, select use hardware plus mode and select hardware plus decoder for network. This will provide the best quality streaming for your um, device. Moving on, let's go to the app. And since this is on a tablet, it is uh, also just using the phone UI uh, and just zoomed out for the tablet interface. Um, I would like to see a tablet interface, but again, this is a very recent app, just been released uh, three days back. So there is obviously going to have uh, updates in the future to maybe provide a tablet UI. So let's get into what the, ta uh, what the app is about. So quickly here under info, it just shows that you need a network streaming app such as MX Player to allow you to stream the content. Support, you can send an email to the developer if you have any issues. The upgrade tab will allow you to uh, basically upgrade the app to the unlimited version. And here's just a notice saying that they do not host content, they just provide the service to stream the content. Moving back to the app's uh, default interface, we have share. You can share to your multiple um, social media. And then you have your favorites and browsing. So I'm just going to go to browse. You can see the list of TV shows here and click on movies you get a list of movies as well and just going to favorites and we'll go test on with Dexter let's go season one episode one and it will show you a list of links each link will provide uh, video content so choose uh, according to what you think is best I normally use Putlocker, uh, Mo uh, Novamov those are pretty famous ones for giving you um, standard definition quality but they buffer really fast so let's take a look at Put Locker here. It's just grabbing the link, and then it should prompt you: Do you want to use MX Player? If you want to use MX Player, or you want to use um, the default Google Player, select MX Player, and then it should be able to run fast. And as you can see right there, it says Hardware Plus mode. So make sure it's in Hardware Plus decoder. That's the best decoder out there. And there you go. It just starts streaming uh, straight away. This does depend on what internet connection you have, of course. So if you have a slow Wi-Fi connection. It will not stream as fast as uh, as you would like. Same thing for data. If you have a slow data uh, connection, it will not stream as amazing as you would like. And it's not really the app's fault; it's the connection's fault. So that's Dexter right there in standard definition. And let's move back, um, going to season seven. Let's say episode one here. And if you go to anyone that says DivX, so DivX Den, they provide full um, 720p and sometimes even 1080p uh, video content. So right here, we're going to take a look uh, at, and I'm not too sure if you can see the ghosting over there that says Showcase HD, but this is Dexter in HD, which is quite amazing. Uh, like I've tried watching both, and the HD hosting is just amazing and looks great on the tablet. So there you have it. This is the app uh, TV Portal, it allows you to stream content um, straight to your Android device. I'm just going to give a quick uh, show on my phone here um, how it looks like. Um, the app interface of course looks a bit more polished because it was meant for a smaller screen. Uh, hopefully we'll get a tablet UI and um, let me just go to favorites as well. Dexter is here as well. Let's go to season 4, episode 1 and sock share for example and tilting it on the side here. There you go really fast to load and uh, again try to make sure that you are in the hardware plus mode that allows the best um, decoding option now in terms of improvement 
Um, this, these are just some tips that I would like the developer to um, hopefully implement uh, in their next future build to allow fast uh, bookmarking options. As you can see, I can't just select whatever uh, content I have here. I need to click on something first and then favorite it on the top. Uh, actually, let's go back to TV shows. And here, yeah, right there. I need to press the star on the top here instead of going uh, straight away from the list. So I would like that to be implemented. Also, if the screen is turned off, uh, you will not buffer the video. So don't think uh, you could just turn off the video and allow yourself to stream it because it will not work. Even if you have gone through settings and um, going through advanced, allow uh, keep Wi-Fi always on, um, you, you will still not buffer uh, because the app just stops working as soon as the screen gets turned off. So I'd like to see that to be implemented in the next future versions. That's roughly it for this uh, video uh, app review that we have here. I hope you liked the video. Please do comment and subscribe. We really appreciate it. We also have a Facebook page, a Google Plus account, and a Twitter. Add us there. Another announcement just before I leave. Uh, we will be giving out five free upgrade codes for uh, five comments down below. It will be random generated, so uh, you might have a chance to win. Um, the developer will be giving us those codes. And if you would like to win even more codes so you, that you could share with your friends, please like their Facebook page and follow their Twitter account. They will be releasing free codes in the near future. And what the code does basically it allows you to have unlimited streaming uh, using TV Portal, the app. Thanks.